Hey guys, Full Tilt Gaming here, and today we are back for another challenge video. And in this video, we are seeing what would happen if Toronto had been able to sign Steven Stamkos. There was a lot of rumors of him going to Toronto. It seemed like that was his choice, and then he ended up re-signing in Tampa Bay. So I want to see what he would do with the Toronto Maple Leafs and how good of a team they would be. So obviously they have a couple of players here that aren't really players here. Lupul, Horton, they probably have Robida. No, they don't have Robida. So yeah, let's. I'll take out a couple of the players that don't belong and we. I will meet you back at the All-Star break. Alright guys, so it's the halfway mark of the season, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are not even doing that well with Steven Samkos. 17 wins, 23 losses, and 7 overtime losses. Um, yeah, they're well back of a playoff spot. It looks like maybe Freddy got hurt, though. If Anderson got hurt, that's, some, that's a completely different scenario. And we have... Bebo and Sparks don't, um, that's not good when we have two of those goalies there. So this is something that could happen, this could have happened if Steven Stamkos joined the Leafs. So. so maybe this is realistic, maybe it's not. He's not even in first place in scoring on the team, Stamkos. What is this, Ban Reemsdyke, really? Um, alright, so he's second. They are almost matching with both with 21 goals, and so yeah, I mean, he's doing alright. Um, I expect a little more out of them. Let's see how the goalies are doing. I want to see how many games Anderson has played. Anderson played 23, Bebo's played 23, and that goals against average is bad. That is not good at all. Save percentage is under 9. That's bad. So hopefully we get some, I don't know how long Anderson's out for, but we'll see, maybe he'll come back and we can, we'll not, we're not going to make the playoffs, let's face it. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season so we can see how good Stamkos would have possibly done, I guess. Okay, so it is the end of the season and the Leafs are two games below 500, if you calculate it like that, if you don't count the overtime losses, I don't know. It's kind of weird nowadays, but 35, 37, 10, that's not great. I mean, we finished with 80 points, which is better than the Leafs did last year. But I think they missed out on goaltending for most of the season. So that probably killed them. Uh, killed any other hopes of actually uh, making the playoffs. We came in last place in our division. Entire league, we finished in... 27th. So there are three Western Conference. Oh, wait, the Carolina Hurricanes did worse than us. So three teams did worse than us. Um, but not by much, I guess. Uh, points. I mean, they were. Just, a hurricane. Not the, uh, the Jets were really bad this year. But the Leafs were almost equally as bad. So let's see how well Stamkos did. 84 points. That's not too bad. Playing on a bad team like this one. 40 goals, 44 assists. I mean, if you couldn't really complain with that. And also, I think we need to keep in mind that he would have been playing, probably signed a seven-year contract. So, we don't expect much from the Leafs this year, but maybe in two, three, four years' time, we would have had a cup with him. Who knows? I know a lot of you probably won't agree with that, and probably just don't like the idea of the Leafs winning, but let's face it, they have a pretty good future. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like and comment some more challenges that I could possibly do, and I will see you guys in the next video.